Hi, I'm Sue Bartholomew. I'm from Westchester County, New York. My name's Rob Umble. I'm from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I'm running for Team Reed today because it's a great organization and I want to support something that does a lot of good for a lot of people who really need it. I'm running on behalf of my brother, Rick, who was injured in a sporting accident. I'm looking forward to a great race today, first time. It's my seventh marathon, but by far my most meaningful one. I'm Kimberly Dredger from Missoula, Montana. I'm Connor Hart from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. My name's Andrea. I'm from Morristown, New Jersey. I'm running in honor of Bob Heinley, a local Missoula police officer who was a made quadriplegic in the line of duty. Uh, I'm running with Team Reeve because uh, when I was six years old, I ended up breaking my femur uh, right in half and I was in a body cast for six months. My mother, who was also a big supporter uh, of the Christopher Reeve Foundation, and she passed away four and a half years ago, so there's no other way I can honor my mother. I just think that this is the best reason in the world. Hi, we're Jenny and Chuck Lawless, and we are from Chicago, Illinois. My name's Katie. I'm running for my friend Stephanie, who used to run with me. She was in a car accident two years ago and almost severed her spinal cord. I am a physical therapist who does um, home modification for spinal cord patients, and I work at the Rehab Institute of Chicago. I'm Mary Beth Billhauer, and I'm from South Dakota, all the way from the Midwest. My name is Ryan Lane. I'm from Washington, D.C. currently. Always Oregon, though. Mike Minwell and Renee Candia. We're from uh, New Jersey. I'm running because I deal with um, spinal cord injuries every day. I'm a physical therapist. I dove into a wave in Santa Monica and hit a sand bake under the water that I didn't know was there and uh, shattered my C4 and had uh, C3 through 5 fused and C4 replaced and um, titanium and all sorts of fun stuff in my neck and I'm lucky enough to still be able to run. We're running on behalf of my coach, Abby Ruby, who's a uh, brother has spinal cord injury. I'm getting warmed up. I'm, I'm going to head over to the starting line in about five minutes and I'm really excited to, uh, to run for Team Reeve and everybody that has supported me throughout this entire endeavor. I love it. And how's everything going pre-race so far? Well, right now I'm just in my mental relax mode, trying not to get over anxious. Not working very well. Pre-race is great, and uh, we've been very pampered by everyone with the foundation, so uh, easy so far. I, I, maybe they'll do the run for us. So, do you have any pre-race rituals or uh, eat as much as possible? Try not to eat too much. I went to the bathroom three times on the bus. That might be a record. But uh, other than that, uh, got it all out of me and I'm getting ready to go. Just want to say really quick a couple few yards and I'm going to actually read the back of the shirt here. For everyone who thought I couldn't do it, for everyone who thought I shouldn't do it, for everyone who said I didn't have it in me, see you at the finish line. And I don't know, some of you may know, some of you don't, but those words actually hung in Christopher Reeve's gym. from Andover, Connecticut. I have a spinal cord injury, C6, burst fracture. I uh, had always wanted to run the New York City Marathon. I was training last two years ago when I got hurt. Actually, when I first got my hand cycle, I just cried. I couldn't believe I was out on the bike again. I was able to go bicycling. Obviously, it's tough to deal with and it takes a lot to get used to, but, you know, there's always someone out there who has it worse off than you. And, you know, it's not about what you don't have, it's what you do have. You can still make a, a lot of your life and do a, all the things you want to do, just maybe a little bit differently. They said you could do a marathon, and I went, well, 
And uh, no, they, they insisted. I had five girlfriends that had done Ironman and done marathons, and they just said, no, you're going to get out there and you're going to do it with, with us. I thought that my chance was gone, but um, uh, Kessler Rehab in West Orange, uh, the therapist by the name of Karen Big, she heard my story and heard that I was training and wanted to do the marathon. So one day she pulled out a hand cycle and said, hey, you know, you could do it on this. And I couldn't believe it. I just pushed. I knew there were people waiting for me at the end. And I wanted the medal. New York Marathon bling. <laughs> I'm here today because 15 years ago I was in an automobile accident. And at that time when I was in a hospital, there was a lot of questions. Um, my tattoo says farther. And um, I got it four days after I broke my neck. As soon as I got out of the hospital from surgery, I tried to, in fact, get it done in the hospital, and the hospital wouldn't let me bring a tattoo artist in. Um, because I knew even then that it was important to memorialize a message, a, a personal mantra to myself. One day in the future and talk to a newly injured person and say, hey, you know, don't, don't give up hope or faith. You know, we got, we got answers for those questions. So it's, it's not about me. It never has been about me, it never will be about me, it's about all the, all the people in the future. That's why I'm doing it. We're capable of a lot more than what we allow ourselves to think that we can do. And uh, I think that Team Reeve is, is part of that message for me, and that's why it means a lot. I made it a point whenever I got to the big crowds and they were cheering to make sure I stood up nice and tall and stuck my chest out there so they saw Team Reeve. My name is Jesse Rubin. I'm from Philadelphia, but I currently live in Brooklyn. I'm Lou Vogel. I'm from Denver, Colorado. I ran the marathon for my friend Zach Weinstein. And uh, actually, it was really amazing because even though my name is on my bib, the entire race, everyone called me Zach, which was perfect. I'm here with my family running for Team Reeve under Team Luke. I went for a run one day. I wrote, if you need me, I'll be and Team Reeve saw that and re res responded with, you should run the New York City Marathon for us. And I got home really late that night, like out of it, and saw that, and I tweeted back, I would love to. I got eight of my friends to run the marathon with me, two, two others for, uh, for Team Reeve. You know, it's just I just love what, what you guys are about and what they do, and, and it was an honor. It was an absolute honor. Tell me about the ice bath real fast. I hate it! <laughs> Oh my god, that is so cold! I'm Eric Vogel, I'm from uh, Denver, Colorado. I live here in New York City right now. I'm Freddie Ketchum, uh, I'm from Greenwich, Connecticut. My brother had a spinal cord injury back in 2007, got injured skiing, um, and this was something that we figured, uh, myself and my whole team, to do uh, for him to get inspired. I'm running for my son-in-law, Josh Guest, and my daughter, Tina. He's a T12 para. We have all the people that donated to us, and you know, which is really cool, just having the support of all the people on my back um, while I was running. You know, there was no way I could stop. Oh no, no, I don't think you can. The jewels are in. <laughs> yeah, I've already biked, Good. stretch, Excellent. ice bath. Excellent. All right. I'm gonna go so wash bad. myself. All right. I probably <laughs> smell pretty good. Not at all. I don't smell bad. <laughs> For all the runners of Team Reed, it has been an extraordinary week for us. But I'm here to tell you that of Team Reed, of the 65 runners, and many of you are here, we raised over $400,000. It's this type of organization that allows people to be better than they thought they could be. And um, if you have a chance, participate. Be on Team Reeve, and you can make a difference. It's, uh, it's a wonderful feeling.